letting go of what you can't is going to help you. You know, you got to release the past. And I know a lot of people have went through real detrimental times. Maybe you went through something when you were younger that you're still holding on to. Maybe it was something you were dealing with with a family member. Maybe it was somebody from your past, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, family member. You know, it's it's hard to let go of the past when, you know, you feel like it's just dwelling over you. It's like this cloud. You can't change the past. That's the hard truth, right? But what you can change is how you move forward. In a fast-paced world like this, much like we live in, it's easy to get stressed out. It's easy to get distracted with constant demands that you have in your life. What's hard is kind of finding peace within yourself. It almost seems impossible to find peace within yourself. But it doesn't have to be, you know, being at peace with yourself, it is the foundation and the start of everything to lead up to what you want in life. You know, it's the foundation for a fulfilling and meaningful life. You know, in today's society, people hate to see a happy person. What do I mean by this? I mean, people hate to see somebody who is genuinely, you know, going through life at a pace and not letting the outside things get to them as much as the uh, average person would when they're going through things. When you have a person like this that embraces imperfections of things, you know, no one is perfect. And that includes you, for sure. And that's okay. Your imperfections make you unique. The journey that you have going to peace, you know, it starts with embracing all parts of yourself. It's it's everything. It's not just the ones that you like. It's not just the ones other people like. You don't have to be perfect to be worthy of love, success, money, happiness, accepting yourself as you are today is what opens up the door for true peace. That's what opens up, right? You have to stop comparing yourself to others. I I can't stress it enough, you know. I know we living in this world of social media where it's kind of hard to not do that when you always see somebody's life that may be particularly better than yours as of right now until you get to that point. Don't get mixed up in that. Letting go of what you can't is going to help you. You know, you got to release the past. And I know a lot of people have went through real detrimental times. Maybe you went through something when you were younger that you're still holding on to. Maybe it was something you were dealing with with a family member. Maybe it was somebody from your past, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, family member. You know, it's it's hard to let go of the past when, you know, you feel like it's just dwelling over you. It's like this cloud. You can't change the past. That's the hard truth, right? But what you can change is how you move forward. You know, no matter how much you think about it, dwelling on past mistakes that you may have made or past events, it weighs you down. And you have to learn from those experiences to move forward, to grow, to elevate. You have to learn from everything, right? And holding on to your past keeps you from that. It keeps you from finding peace within you. It keeps you from finding peace in the present. Remember, you did the best you could with the knowledge and resources you had at the time. You know, you did what you could. Focus on the present. Focus on the present. The present moment is all we truly have. When you focus on 
the now, when you focus on not what could go wrong tomorrow or what happened yesterday, when you focus on now, you open yourself up to peace, mindfulness, and meditation. You know, these are powerful tools for staying grounded in the present. Try and take just a few minutes each day to sit down, get your mind right, find a quiet place, you know, and just meditate. It, it doesn't matter where you're at. Sometimes I meditate in the car. Sometimes I, I meditate, like, just sitting somewhere really nice and quiet like this and just take it all in, you know. Forgiving yourself, a lot of people struggle with that. I think that might be the hardest one for a lot of people is forgiving yourself. Um, maybe you feel like you failed and you feel like you aren't going to get anywhere you have to forgive yourself and get back up and keep trying again. Forgiveness is one of the most powerful tools for creating inner peace. Oftentimes we hold on to guilt. We hold on to resentment. We hold on to anger. But these emotions only hurt us in the end. It only hurts you. It doesn't hurt the other person. Forgive yourself. We could be our own hardest critic when it comes to things. I know for sure I am, especially when it comes to anything that I'm doing. You know, I tell myself a lot, like, bro, you could be you could be doing way better. You could be going way harder. Somebody working harder than you right now. Like, I, I always, it's bad. It, it's good and bad when it comes to that because I always try to push myself to do better. I always push myself for better, you know. It's good when it comes to that, but I'm talking about when you always downplaying yourself, like, you know, you might have messed up one day and you were trying to be consistent at something and you, you know, just never got back to it. You just so hard on yourself for no reason. That's what I'm talking about. No one is perfect and you deserve the same compassion that you were offered to a close friend, to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made. If you learn from it, that's all that matter. Understand that you learning, growing, and evolving every day. Self-forgiveness is key to moving forward. It's key. With peace in your heart, moving forward as well. You know, forgive others. This is another hard one that a lot of people are going to struggle with. Forgiving somebody that did you wrong, forgiving somebody that blatantly did you wrong, intentionally, or having resentment for somebody, doesn't mean condoning what they did. I'm not saying in that, okay? It's forgiving, forgiving someone doesn't mean that. It's about freeing yourself. That's what it's about. Because you're not doing it for the other person. You're you, you doing it for you. That's why you forgive. You're not doing it for them. It's so that when you hold on to these grudges, it, it, it keeps you stuck. It keeps you in this box where it's no room to grow. You're just stuck in this box. There, there's no getting out. You know, when you're stuck in this negativity... Letting go of that burden brings you closer to inner peace. It brings you to what you're truly supposed to be. That's what happens. Forgive for yourself, not for them, because you deserve to be free. All right. Maturing and nurturing your inner peace daily. Some I'm still working on, but it isn't something that happens and stays forever. I do learn, I have learned that, right? 
it's something you must do daily. And it can be hard sometimes, you know. You have to practice gratitude. And I learned that a couple months back, you know, having gratitude for things, shifting your mindset to, how can I word this? It's like shifting your mindset from lacking what you didn't have. Right. It's it's what's abundant. Each day, take a few moments. Right. It doesn't have to be long to just reflect on the things you're grateful for. Oftentimes, I don't do that as much, but, you know, it could be waking up. It could be you having a job, you making money because somebody didn't wake up. Somebody doesn't have a job right now. Somebody has been looking for a job for years, months days and hasn't got a call back but you get to go up get up and go into work get dressed go to work hell you got a car that you can get in some people walk into work you know taking the bus public transportation you know what i'm saying it's always good to focus on the good you know when you focus on the good you invite more peace into your life you don't invite negativity and all of that You got to set boundaries and protect your energy when it comes to inner peace, because it's easy to lose your your energy. It's easy to lose your peace. It's easy to get unmotivated. Sometimes finding peace means nothing when you're constantly always in in a negative environment. You know, it's hard to do that. Finding peace means protecting it. Right. This may require setting boundaries and your relationship with work or even with just you in general. Learn to say no to things, even with yourself. You know, when it, you don't want to drain your energy. You know. And it's easy to do that. Prioritize time for you to rest self-care activities that you want to get into that nourish your soul man you know for me it's it's been music and youtube youtube um i've always been in youtube like it doesn't matter if it's gaming it doesn't matter if i'm making a short for the for the other channel it doesn't matter if i'm just sitting out here recording the sun for my other channel and then making beats behind the music behind the video it it doesn't matter it just i find that nourishing for me i find peace in that i find peace in creating you know filming and making videos and then putting a whole movie together vlogs together i have i have enjoyment with that you know being at peace with yourself is a long journey. I think that might be, it might be top tier with you finding uh, on on your journey of becoming successful. I think it, th- like those two things coincide with each other because it takes time. It takes self-awareness and daily practice. Much like you grinding on your own journey is going to take practice. It's not something that's going to happen overnight but the more you embrace who you are, the more that you, the more that, more time that you put into that and start letting go of what you can't control through this life and even with you on your journey to being successful, you'll cultivate peace within you. The more you'll experience a, a life of a f- fulfillment and joy, you know, take it one step at a time. Be gentle with yourself and remember peace begun. It, it comes with from within. It's not about what you do or what you're into. It, it comes from within. And when you work on that from the inside, it's going to come out through your work, through what you do, through what you say. When you work on the inside, when it comes out, it's even better. So...